supporters of their resolve to entrench the grassroots processes when it comes to decision making and that it will be done in a it, 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 it will not be a top bottom approach and that they are going ahead to salute all the grassroots party members and urging them to continue working for professor joshua labi's 2020 election so essentially declaring that uh, he's still contesting and counting on the grassroots as opposed and, and to not what the, the members of parliament, parliament are will doing do uh, thank you joseph stay with me let me go back on the line uh, I, i've just been drawn a line also by mr richard kwashiga is mp for kita hello mr kwashiga yeah, thank you very much, and good evening to your audience and to your first uh Okay. Uh, before I come to you, Mr. Kwashiga, very briefly, uh, Ms. Agboja, you just had concerns there from uh, one one other uh, possible contender. In fact, he has already declared that he's when the party opens nominations, he will file. Professor Joshua Labi, that what you're doing is is a top bottom, and and of course there are concerns there. No, no, not at all. Uh, first of all, uh, you, you would agree with me that almost everybody contesting has been an appointee of uh, President Mahama before. So it is not true that it's only uh, appointees of President Mahama that are trying to back him. Secondly, uh, I can confirm to you that some of the candidates have already met members of parliament in, uh, telling us their intention to contest. I mean, there, there's a record of many of them uh, meeting us, including last two weeks, uh, one of them met us. So it is not also true that uh, they, 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 they are only doing this from uh, uh, bottom up. And indeed, uh, they have an open nomination, but some of them have gone around the, the country, met uh, uh, delegates and other things. But that is all good for, for democracy. There's nothing wrong with that. All I'm saying is that this decision to support President Mahama is not to say that maybe the Professor Alabi or uh, Second Deputy Speaker or Honorable Sly or, uh, I mean, uh, anybody, any of them is not qualified to be president. We are happy to have all these people within our fold. But we are saying that they're looking around and everything. We are not saying that we are the only ones who are going to vote. We would galvanize, and I'm happy uh, uh, my, my good friend, uh, Honorable uh, Opoku Gako, said, we are galvanizing our own resources. We are raising funds by ourselves to support President Mahama if he starts. So you're, you, you, so you're going to raise funds among the uh, the like-minded minority MPs to support him if he declares. Hello, Mr. Agboja. We, are, we have already started the process of raising funds, as we speak. Oh, you have already started the process of raising funds for him? Yes, yes, I can tell you we are raising funds, as we speak. We are raising funds already. So if he, if he declares, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are home and we're going to hit the, the road uh, running. Uh, so you're raising funds among yourselves or you're, you're going beyond your parliamentary confines? We are raising funds amongst ourselves and our contacts uh, uh, across, across, the, across the globe. How much, how much so far have you raised? Well, that, that would be something we can discuss later, but we are raising enough funds to be able to uh, undertake this. What's your target? Uh, enough, enough to be able to get his nomination and support him fully uh, to... to, to to run a very uh, decent campaign to become the president 2021. You have the support of the minority leadership to do this? Well, we don't need the support of minority leadership, and we give them every, every respect. We have started this amongst ourselves, and eventually we'll be, we'll be meeting uh, minority uh, leadership uh, to, to tell them our intention. But this is our own self-initiative. It is not uh, under the auspices of the minority leadership in parliament. We, and we never said anywhere that we are doing this on behalf of and NDC minority in parliament. It just turns out that uh, 94 uh, of us, and don't forget, some of our colleagues are not in the country as, as of now. So it's not to say that only 94 of us are endorsing this. Some of our colleagues are out of the country, and, I, and if I, if, uh, when they return, we know they, they, will, they will be part of us. Who knows the minority leadership will be part of us? Uh, that's interesting. Hold the line for me briefly. Joseph, how many minority MPs are there in all in parliament? So in all, there are um, 106 of them. And so if the figure... 94. 94 in terms of those who have backed the candidate is anything to go by meaning there are 12 of them who are outstanding who haven't uh, signed on to this particular document declaring their support. Mr. Kwashiga, have you already signed a document yourself endorsing John Mahama? Thank you very much and good evening to your audience, uh, Evans. I must say that as a Thursday when the list was handed over to me, um, uh, in the Brussels region, only six members of parliament have signed up. Sorry, only six, you so, said. Only six? I, I cannot say for a fact that indeed um, we have four members of parliament for the minority side who have signed up to this document. So that some of them who have signed up did that with great reluctance because actually reflected that to me. Um, of course, 
my colleague Abu Jawish. Well, oh, for, for, forgive, forgive, uh, forgive me, Mister Kwashiga. Are you suggesting that people were, are being compelled to 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 sign? I, I think that uh, there are a lot of people who will be contesting uh, primaries very soon, and they don't want uh, you know any group of people descending on their constituencies to um, create an un, unfavorable situations for them. Um, so, I, well, I can wish my good friend and brother, Kwame Abuja, very well, who appears to be speaking um, uh, on this matter. But clearly, my brother, as of Thursday, even from the Puerto region, I counted the numbers who have signed up. There were six out of the 25 members of parliament from the Puerto region. Um, you know, but is this all necessary? I don't think so. Why should members of parliament be endorsing or being compelled to endorse a particular candidate? This is a democracy. It's supposed to be a competitive activity, you know, in cooperation to elect the best for the NDC. Because I'm very convinced that the NDC needs to take back the reins of governance come 2021, in order to turn around the misfortune that has befallen this nation uh, with the MPP in the reins of governance. We have suffered a lot of challenges. We have suffered a lot of um, unpalatable situations. And we need somebody who can actually rein in, you know, the NDC's uh, philosophy and really show up the forward march of the NDC for us to recapture power. I find that in no other person than Professor Joshua Alabi, who has exhibited demonstrable character and demonstrable ability, you know, to, to do that. Um, you see, at this time, the NDC will need someone who can, as it were, you know, lead the party for eight years, who will not be a lame duck person, who can actually um, um, uh, carry out the uh, activities of the parties in a manner that will resonate with the grassroots. I mean, those who actually make the NDC tick, the uh, rank and file of the NDC. Professor Joshua Lavi has, has been talking about bottom-up approach, where you make the uh, rank and file of the NDC, the center of governance. And I think that is what the NDC has been looking for. That was the reason why the NDC lost the election. And, and do you uh, find all these qualities in John Dramani Mahama? Sorry? Do you find all these qualities you eloquently outlined in John Dramani well, Mahama? Uh, doc, uh, Mr. John Mahama, former president of Ghana, did his best. Today we refer to him as former president. And I think that he has done his best. He's contributed his quota. It is time for a new beginning. It is time for a new leadership. It is time for a new hope. And that new hope we find in Professor Joshua Alavi. And we are convinced, I am convinced, that the Jones have done their bid. God, I am convinced, appointed three Jones for this nation. And the third John decided to have another John as uh, a supporter who obviously he shared his term with. The era of the Johns are over. And it's time for somebody who will take us to the promised land. And I find that in Professor jo uh, Joshua Alabi, who uh, has demonstrated to us uh, when he was giving uh, a certain school called IPS, that was a non-entity that never had any dignity around it. He turned it around and made it what it is today, University of Professional Studies. Professor Joshua Alabi is the man <laughs> that the NDC needs at this time. And I think that um, it is his time. And I'm convinced about that. And I understand that some of my colleagues don't understand why it is the time for Joshua Alabi to lead the NDC. Uh, of course, some colleagues of mine in Parliament could be excited about 
endorsing uh, the former president. But I know also that there are a lot of them that have reflected to me that they did that out of reluctance. And um, <laughs> I'm not even sure if indeed the list is 90, 94, as we are being told. Uh, I dare that they publish the list. Um, whom they, uh, which they claim is 94 members of parliament on the minority side. I am strongly for Professor Joshua Alabi, and I am very convinced that Professor Joshua Alabi is a man to lead the NDC and uh, to galvanize the NDC for the needed for, victory we need in 2020. In 2020. Uh, it, it, as president. Uh, Mr. Kwashiga, uh, just a second. Uh, Mr. Boja. He, yes. Are you going to publish that list because he's, uh, he's challenging the number you put out as 94 MPs have already signed? Well, uh, first of all, um, we are not under any compulsion to uh, uh, appease or to appeal to anybody. Myself and my good friend, Honorable Koshigan, know, we know each other very well. We know that we are self-motivated. I don't think anybody is cajoling him to support Professor Alabi, and nobody is cajoling me to support uh, President Mahama. I have not been... Are you, are, he, he suggests that you may be afraid that if you don't back him, your primary might be, might be affected. <laughs> well, I can, uh, well I, can, I can tell you for a fact that um, I don't see being in parliament as a do or die uh, anything. I'm a chartered architect. I practice. I'm okay with that. I'm saying that myself and my colleagues are under no pressure to endorse President Mahama. And I've already told you, even when we, were, when we meet him, he keeps telling us he's listening to people that he hasn't declared yet. So we are f f self-motivated. And guess what? We are raising funds by ourselves. So then, then let my the, good friend uh, Koshiga not be under any, any illusion. We, we are determined to do this. And we believe the grassroots, as he's talking about, is the, is the powerhouse. We are at this level are just trying to encourage ourselves to say that when the time comes, just as uh, uh, Honorable Sly and other people have met us as uh, 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 different caucuses and have appealed to us to support them, some of us have listened to all of them and we are saying that though President Mahama hasn't even come to us yet, we have looked through and we are saying that at the right time we will tell you why is he is the one that we needed to back. He has already given you reasons why we should back Professor Alabi. But the thing is that it's exciting. This is all a home, a home uh, issue. This is all within NDC. And I'm excited about it. There's no, there's no fighting. There's nothing. I mean, the, the good thing he said about Professor Alabi, that is an asset to NDC. Those who support uh, the fly, that is an asset to NDC. But eventually we will elect one person. And we are hopeful that that person will be pre uh, President Mahama. This, this, is, into this is truly healthy internal democratic rivalry. And I must point out, Kwashiga, uh, MP for Keta, and Kwame Agboja, MP for Adaklu, are good friends, and they all come from the Volta region, and they are MPs from the Volta region. And there's no fight here. It's just uh, an honest expression of views, different uh, individuals that they back. Uh, Mr. Kwashiga, let me ask you, in your constituency, You've mentioned that some of the people who are endorsing John Mahama and, and, and putting their signatures down are afraid that uh, people might, might, have, might you know, uh, influence their primaries and they might be knocked out of the race. Are you not afraid that if you don't toe the line, your own primary might be affected? Well, thank you very much. Um, the fact is that uh, recently... The pictures out there will tell the story. It was a tumultuous welcome for Professor Joshua Alabi in the Qatar constituency. And that tells you that the people of the Qatar constituency believe in what they believe. Um, it's not about Richard Koshiga at all. And it's not about me contesting or not contesting but it is about what the people in the Qatar constituency believe in. They believe that the NDC must be alive. They believe that the NDC needs to come back to power. And they believe that the NDC ought to do the right. So, so you don't mind and if, because of your support for Alabi, there is no, an orchestration to knock to, to, to kick you out of the primaries and lose your, your hold on Qatar? Not at all. Irrespective of the fact that I told the people of Qatar, in 2011, that I'll be doing a two term, and I'm living by my word. Um, what I am saying is that the NDC needs a new lease of life. The NDC needs somebody who can run for presidency for two terms. 
The NDC needs somebody who will be concerned about the rank and file of the end of the party. I, I must apologize, That's but true. you have laid out these qualities. I must ask you, though, you've disputed the 1994 figure. Are you also gathering your own signatures? We, I don't think that is necessary. Why must we even do that? Why must we even, um, 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 you know, get members of parliament to sign up to a certain list and put it out there in the public domain to actually... Uh, uh, win a certain psychological war. This is not a war of nerves. I think that this is about the NDC. And I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful, Richard Kwashiga, MP for Keta. Very grateful, uh, Kwame Agboja, MP for Adaklu. Uh, they're expressing uh, their differing opinions about who should lead the NDC into the 2020 elections. Uh, of course, this is something that uh, we will dive into a bit more. And if you join us on Newsline, there's more on this because uh, the, uh, and the government has tonight announced they have paid uh, John Mahama's ex gratia Remember that it became an issue because John Mahama's aides have indicated that he's not been paid. Uh, that has uh, generated some controversy with We'll delve into that on Newsnight. Plus, uh, tonight, the uh, senior minister has admitted government is no longer fixated on delivering one factory in all 216 districts in government's first term. Well, is that a contradiction of what they promised in their manifesto? Details of that on Newsnight. Okay, Gracie, for the grand prize, answer this final question. Which of these electronic services does Bond offer for your convenience?